This week in the galley, what we're going to be doing is cooking up some surf perch for you. And you've been seeing in past episodes, we've been going down to Rosarito, other beaches, been doing a lot of surf fishing. And these are just some of the surf perch that we've been catching. And these are the little guys. And these, these uh, cook up really nice and well too, even though they're small. But this big bad boy here is what we're going to cook up for you today. Now, all we're going to be doing is a real simple dish. We're going to pan fry them right here in this little pan here. And all we're going to be using is my fish batter mix. You can find this at your local Turner's Outdoorsman in Southern California. Um, Viarda has got them right now. Some of the Vons Pavilion stores, you can always find it on our website. Just a great product. Just going to show you a different way to use it. A lot of people think you have to add the water or the beer to it to make it a heavy batter, but you don't have to do that. Today we're going to show you a simple recipe where all we're going to do is take the fish batter that we have here and we're just going to coat the fish with it like flour and go. So first thing I'm going to do is put some oil and you can use vegetable oil or olive oil, whatever you want. Got some oil in here. And let that get nice and hot. And we're not going to deep fry it. And you see how we just have a little enough oil in here to cover the pan. We're not going to uh, fry it in there really deep or real long. So go ahead and do that. Let that warm up. And we take our fish. And because this is a bigger fish, what I want to do is give it a couple of cuts. Give it three slices. We do this a lot with like white fish and other rock fish. And you can use the same recipe with fish like that. Just cut it up a little bit. And the inside we have it all filleted, all cleaned out. Not filleted, but just gill and gutted. And now all we do is just take the fish and coat it in, the, in our fish batter. Okay, you got the fish all covered here. It's all ready to go. I'm just going to drop this in the oil. Just like that. See how quick it's cooking? It's not going to take a long time. I'm just going to do this for a couple minutes on each side and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and flip over the fish now and cook it on the other side. Yeah, it's cooking up nice. You can see how light it looks. It's not real heavy. It's not like making it uh, like for fish tacos where you put the, the batter into the water or the beer, make it really thick. This is just a light coat to it, just kind of gives a nice crispy coat to it. And all the spices that are already in the fish batter work out really nice. And it works out really good. All right, we're just going to let this cook a little bit longer, and then we'll pull it out and I'll show you what it looks like. But if you need more ideas for cooking up your catch, pick up one of my cookbooks. You can find it at your local sporting goods store or on our website. Even on Amazon, we have it there too. All right, this is almost done. Okay, this is all done. All I got to do now is take it out of the pan and show it to you. That's how it should look. Nice brown marks on there. And it's a good thing that we did slice this one up because it is a huge fish. Got a little cuts in there. And this fish is ready to go. All you do is just take a little bite out of it. A little piece right here. And I have some of my wasabi sauce. Mmm, that is good. And the one little trick, too, that you need to know before you do this is you need to scale the fish. Get all the scales off the fish before you fry it like this. And this recipe you can do with white fish, red snapper. Today we're doing it with surf perch, a smaller fish, but it works out really good. And you can just see how nice all this meat just kind of flakes off, nice and white meat. And there's all the bones right there that you can stay away from. It's just a beautiful little dish. These are great fish to catch, great fish to eat. And if you're looking for a little family thing to do, inexpensive, a lot of the beaches you can park for free, just walk over and fish. And you do need a California uh, fishing license because you are fishing off a pier. If you're on the pier itself, you don't need one. But if you're fishing on the beach, you will need a license. And again, just a real simple recipe using my fish batter mix and find it on our website. Remember, half the proceeds from all these sales go to benefit my youth foundation. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. 